All right, well, she was an 80s pop singer who called it quits to live the simple life and raise a family, but now she's back in a major way, singing Wouldn't You Like to Know from her album Me Time. Ladies and gents, give it up for Lisa Matassa. Well, you just heard her sing, and now we're going to get up close and personal with Lisa Matassa. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Thanks you sounded me. so great. Thank I you love so it. Much. And and we got to start by giving a little history because this is not your first foray into the music scene. No. Uh, back in the '80s, you did, had a couple of uh, chart toppers, right? A couple of hits on the dance chart. Yes. On the dance chart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what were the names of those singles? Uh, I've got the hots for you. Right. <laughs> Rock me, baby. Uh, I think. Uh, I, I like your title so far, like Lisa. <laughs> um, and 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 so then you know you kind of. You decide, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step back from all this and you started a family, am I right? Well, I did that only because uh, it was really, un for me, the record label actually folded shortly thereafter. Okay. And I really never stopped singing. I continued to sing and I met my husband and right. started raising kids and I decided, you know what, uh, the music I really wanted to do was country and at the time in New York it wasn't uh, really prominent. It was really freestyle dance at the time. So right. it was. I, it took time to write music and raise a family, and and now the timing is perfect for for what I want to do, and that's country rock. And I saw some of the pictures of the old because you, you went by Lisa Lynn. Yes. And uh, you, Milady, are like a fine wine. So, <laughs> all you. good there. Uh, but you know, I think too, it takes time to mature into yourself and know yeah. that you have that artistic voice. Because like you said, I guess you're sort of admitting back in the day, you sort of went with what was popular exactly. against what your gut instinct told you to do. Sure. I mean, I was classically trained as an opera singer when I was eight years old, wow. so I studied that for five years. So, But I was influenced by all different types of music. And as I got older, rock came into the picture, but I always loved country music. Because I grew up in South Florida, actually, in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I love that. And I love that you call your music Long Island 
and country. Yeah, you know, a lot of people think yeah. of uh, Long Island and country synonymously. No, no, and you know, it's funny because a lot of people do not, do, really don't realize that there is so much more country music outside of Nashville. It's true. And it's really taken over in New York. Lisa, you are taking over. We got more information on our, on our website. Go there now for Lisa Matassa. We're back in a moment.